Hi, and welcome to Steve's Card Flip. We've got seven cards today, and my son has music on this channel, so if you want to, please, please feel free to check it out. This is a general reading, so take what resonates with you, and just leave the rest. It may not resonate with everybody, as it is a general reading. So, I'll get started. This is for the 13th of December, 2.20, to the 20th of December, so this is for that week. So, I'm getting started now. The first card is the Otter, Surrender, Let Go of Control. Okay, so what the idol wants you to do is to let go of control. You may have been in situations where you were emotionally overwhelmed or, or situations that you felt may have been frightening and you felt that you needed to control everything. The idol is saying, let go, it's time you can release the control, you are safe. And it doesn't want you to force your agenda on life, it wants you to go with the flow and swim in the current. It doesn't mean that you don't pay your bills, but it sort of means that by going with the flow, things may move a bit easier and may not be so stressful for you. Okay, card number two is Archangel Raphael. This is Unconditional Joy. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for helping me appreciate everything that makes me happy right now. Okay, Archangel Raphael wants you to appreciate everything that's in your life. He wants you to do it now. He doesn't want it in the future or some other time. He wants it done now. He wants you to appreciate everything that you are happy and grateful for in your life. He wants you to step into joy. He doesn't want you to think that when I get such and such, I'll be happy. No, he wants you to be happy now. Or the things that you want and need, a lot of things that you want, you don't actually need. And sometimes these are things that you think that you need, you actually want, and you don't actually need them. So he wants you to be happy and find joy in your life now, and then abundance will start to come into your life. Okay, card number three, having all here, is kangaroo, gratitude. Be grateful for all that you are blessed with. Okay, this is very similar to card number two. It's saying, don't look for other things out there in the world to make you happy. You know, be grateful for what you've got in your life and be grateful now, you know. Things aren't going to fill in the void in your life. They may make you happy for a little period of time, but long term, they're not going to make you happy and they're not going to fix the problem. Look at what makes you happy, you know, in all areas of your life. It decreases your stress levels. It does you a lot of good for your health. It does you a lot of good. So please go with that. Okay. Card number four is Celeste. It's an angel card. A happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy okay this card is about a move a home or possibly with the job you may be changing jobs or you may be going back to your job you may be going back to work or you know your job may be changing but ask God and the angels to help you you know with this transition at this time they're quite capable of looking after everything and it will all work out if it doesn't work out it means you've got something better planned for you and please don't worry it's meant to happen Okay, card number five is Abundance. All right, that's a citrine and an amethyst skull there. Okay, now this is basically a card that wants you to step into your power as a person and to find your passion and to follow it. And it's saying that as you do that, that the abundance will come into your life. Abundance is coming into your life next week, so just be open to receiving it, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Card number six is treasure chest an unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now this is god and the angels telling you that there is abundance coming to your life be open to receiving it as it is coming and who knows how it will happen but it will happen so just be open relaxed and aware that it's coming into your life and however it happens it's wonderful okay card number seven is abundance so obviously there is a theme of abundance, so I'm going to talk about abundance. If somebody offers you money and you don't take it, you are blocking abundance. You are saying to the universe that I don't want it. I don't need your help. So please be open and receiving to abundance. Open yourself up to abundance and let the universe start sharing abundance with you. Okay, this is from God and the angels. So abundance is coming into your life next week. You just need to be aware of it and keep your eyes out open for it. Don't be stressed. Just be nice and relaxed knowing that will happen and it will happen. Okay, this is my last card. So I would like to thank you for your time. Hope you have a great week. Much love and thank you for your support. Okay, bye.